So Fox 35 exclusive, this little girl full of energy is an inspiration. But looking at her, you would never know she has suffered third degree burns just two years ago. Police say she was submerged in 150 degree water. Her stepmother arrested and charged with child abuse. Fox 35's Esther Bauer takes a look at the case and the little girl's road to recovery. Say hello. hello. <laughs> Seeing Sage at the park, playing with her mom, you can't see the discomfort she feels or the scars she hides. She's four years old and bursting with life, but nearly two years ago, this was Sage covered in severe third degree burns. It's been two years now, so I can talk about it without bursting into tears, um, but sorry, maybe not. I still cry every day, sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, this. No, I told myself I wouldn't cry, but um, I, I literally I cry every day because it's it's complete discomfort. Her mom, Alexandria Torres, sitting down with Fox 35 in an exclusive interview, detailing the injuries her daughter suffered. The worst part is like her bottom, her front area, and her inner thighs, which is where her most discomfort is. Palm Bay police say Sage's stepmother burned the child as malicious punishment for defecating in the living room. The arrest affidavit says the water was at least 150 degrees. The suspect's attorney still denies those claims, saying it was an accident and the victim was in the tub and turned the hot water on herself. It's been a nightmare. Sage's mom is still fighting for justice and says Sage had to relearn how to use the bathroom, has been through through months of therapy and will need numerous procedures as her body grows and the scars stretch. But I just can't help itching it. Torres says it's been difficult to move forward as the criminal case drags on. Her daughter also needs plastic surgery and her insurance doesn't cover cosmetic procedures. But she's counting her blessings. Her daughter is alive and still full of life. I'm 100% I'm grateful that she even has the freedom to be able to do, like, you know, normal kid things now. In Brevard County, Esther Bauer, Fox 35 News.